it's been confirmed that the Cartoon Network's The Powerpuff Girls is set to make a live adaptation debut, but it's still in the works because of how fans reacted when they saw the behind-the-scenes photos during filming. On top of that, one of the lead actresses in the series, Chloe Bennett, has announced her exit from the filming. What does the actress have to say about the project? Find out more in today's video. Why did Chloe Bennett part ways with the series? Just recently, the American actress Chloe Bennett has announced her departure from the live-action adaptation of the beloved cartoon series. As one of the three main leads who is supposed to portray the role of Blossom, the leader of the trio, Bennett shared in an exclusive interview what her reasons were. Since the initial production of the series, titled Powerpuff, was scrapped by the CW's chairman and CEO Mark Pedowitz, they were scheduled for a reshoot. But because of conflicting schedules, Bennett opted out of the project. Warner Brothers has expressed their intention on extending her as they reworked the pilot, but the actress was already decided. In line with this, casting for the actress who will replace Blossom will take off this coming fall. Fans took to Twitter their response on Chloe Bennett's departure. The majority of the cast is still on board with the project, but a lot of fans have been airing their relief on Twitter now that Bennett has left production. Since the show already earned a lot of raised eyebrows from the public, fans of Bennett were nothing short of happy with the fact that the actress has walked away from the project. Twitter user at Unity expressed his relief, stating, I can finally stop pretending to be hype for Powerpuff Girls now that Chloe Bennett has left. Another user who goes by the username at Jellivision tweeted, Just cancel the show, CW. Powerpuff Girls was doomed and became a laughing stock after the script and those Party City costumes leaked. And some fans are quick to point out that there's a chance that the actress might reprise her role as the iconic Daisy Johnson, the Quake, from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Back in 2020, Bennett denied the rumors that she'll be taking part in Disney Plus's Secret Invasion, which will star Samuel L. Jackson as Nick Fury and Ben Mandelson as Talos. A Twitter user under the name of at Aerocles asked, at Chloe Bennett, whoa, is this legit? Where the fan included a link to the article that Bennett was lined up for the project. Unfortunately, the actress simply replied, I wish, quickly shutting down her hopes. On the bright side, there have been several instances where we caught Marvel lying, so hopefully this is one of them. And since she's out of Powerpuff, fans have been commenting how she should reprise her role as Daisy Johnson and take part in Secret Invasion. Good for her. That means she can have a chance to reprise her role as Daisy Johnson in Secret Invasion, tweeted by a fan named Nero, whose username is at mspector underscore jm. Another has pointed out, not to be that person, but the fact that the Secret Invasion and the Marvels are currently filming. I'm looking at you, Chloe Bennett, tweeted at Fitzbarns. Chloe Bennett dropped out of Powerpuff because of scheduling conflicts, despite not having any upcoming projects on her IMDb page besides Powerpuff? And Secret Invasion is meant to begin filming soon, if it hasn't already started, that is. Well, that's me convinced that Quake is back, another Twitter user wrote. In an interview with Looper last July 2020, the actress shared her thoughts just before Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was nearing its conclusion. She was asked if her character Quake will be starring in spin-offs or will make a debut in future Marvel films. Of course, the actress was open to the idea of reprising her role, given she was presented with the opportunity. I definitely would, the actress exclaims. I mean, I have such a soft spot for her. I started shooting the show when I was 20, and then I finished when I was 27. To get this time right now in isolation, to kind of contemplate the past seven years and how much it's meant to me, it hasn't really hit me yet that the show is over, so it doesn't really feel like I'm done playing her yet. Why did the CW reshoot the series? Earlier in May 2021, several excerpts from the alleged script surfaced online, which drew a lot of criticism. We know the series as a G-rated and child-friendly series, so when fans saw how the script contained several adult theme contents, it drew a lot of backlashes that Mark Pedowitz scratched their initial project and announced a complete reshoot from scratch, stating, The reason you do pilots is because sometimes things miss. And this was just a miss, said the CW chairman and CEO Mark Pedowitz about Powerpuff. We believe in the cast completely. We believe in Diablo and Heather, the writers. We believe in the auspices of Greg Berlanti and Warner Brothers Studios. In this case, the pilot didn't work, he said. But because we see there are enough elements in there, we wanted to give it another shot. So that's why we didn't want to go forward with what we had. Tonally, it might have felt a little too campy. It didn't feel as rooted in reality as it might have felt. But again, you learn things when you test things out. And so in this case, we felt, let's take a step back and go back to the drawing board. In the series, it's been described that the trio has become disillusioned 20-somethings who resent having lost their childhood to crime fighting. In addition to that, TMZ released several photos from filming, which fans didn't hesitate to criticize. There were images of Bennett hooked on wires for a stunt with the rest of the girls wearing the iconic pastel costumes the cartoon characters donned. One Twitter user named Deanne Wiley couldn't help but comment, This is why y'all need to leave cartoon as cartoon, because this looks absolutely ridiculous. Three grown-ass women flying around in slip dresses and penny loafers. A lot more are commenting on how the girls' costumes 
are the worst for wear, with one user commenting, I'm not against live action PPG as a concept, but these costumes look like they went to Spirit Halloween and picked up three superhero puff females costumes for $29.99 a pop. Who are the confirmed cast of Powerpuff? With Bennett's exit, the rest of the cast remains attached to the series and is expected to proceed with the reshoot as planned. Dove Cameron, American actress and singer Dove Cameron, will continue to portray the role of Bubbles in the series. The following is an excerpt of her character's description from the series. Bubbles had a sweet girl disposition that won America's hearts as a child. She still sparkles as an adult, but her charming exterior belies an unexpected toughness and wit. She's initially more interested in recapturing her fame than saving the world, but she just might surprise us and herself. Yana Perot. On the other hand, American actress Yana Perot is still attached to play Buttercup. Her character is described as the following in the series. Buttercup was the rebellious badass of the Powerpuff Girls in its heyday. More sensitive than her tough exterior suggests, she has spent her adulthood trying to shed her Powerpuff Girl identity and live an anonymous life. Blossom, previously portrayed by Bennett, is now open for auditions. She's described as a spunky, conscientious Little Miss Perfect child who holds several advanced degrees, but her repressed kitty superhero trauma has left her feeling anxious and reclusive, and she aims to become a leader again, this time on her own terms. Donald Faison as Professor Drake Utonium. Portraying the role of their creator and father figure, Professor Drake Utonium, is none other than the American actor and comedian Donald Faison, who's known for portraying the role of Dr. Chris Turk in the comedy drama Scrubs. In the live adaptation reboot, his character is described as quirky, debonair, and a pinch of narcissistic. He is a scientific genius who is immensely proud of the three extraordinary girls he created in his lab. Staring down a midlife crisis, he's determined to repair his relationships with his now adult daughters. Nicholas Padani. A new twist on the series is the involvement of the actor Nicholas Padani as the son of one of the girls' longtime villains, Mojo Jojo, who is named Joseph Jojo Mondell Jr. The actor is known for starring in the Harry Potter and the Cursed Child as Albus Potter on Broadway from 2019 to 2020. In the series, his character is described as a nerdy and insecure kid, but like his father, power-hungry and obsessed with the Powerpuff Girls as well. In Powerpuff, we'll see him battling his two personalities of being sweet but also having rage at the same time. Robin Lively. We also have the mayor's secretary, Sarah Bellum, in the show who will be portrayed by the actress Robin Lively. She's most known for her role in the film Teen Witch, as well as for her roles in the TV shows Doogie Howser, M.D., Twin Peaks, Savannah, and Saving Grace. Sarah Bellum is described as a warm and witty career woman who has a complicated romantic history with Drake. Tom Kenny. Last but not least, the original narrator of the cartoons, legendary voice actor Tom Kenny, will also reprise her role as the narrator in Powerpuff. Aside from the narrator, Kenny also voiced the mayor and several other characters from the show. And with that, we're concluding today's episode about Chloe Bennett's departure from the Powerpuff Girls pilot, as well as other news concerning the series. Until next time, see ya!